This is the phone is led into block machine manufacturer. And today is uh, September 28, and in my background you can see it's a new model. It's a new model of the concrete block making machine, and also it's uh, with the appearance you can you can feel it's uh, movable. It's a mobile block making machine. You know, uh, because uh, more and more block makers uh, uh, complain, you know they will. Uh, uh, they will spend a lot of money for the investment on the pallets because if you pro if you buy the the stable block machine, you have to produce uh, the pallets, and or maybe you can purchase the pallets from our company and together with the block machine. So the pallets investment uh, is uh, is also very money, uh, very very big. Some block makers try to save the money for the investment on the pallets. Uh, you know how to, uh, you know, save the investment on the pallets. That means we have the mobile, the mobile block making machine, which doesn't need any pallets because it's a movable block machine. So after producing the blocks, the blocks will be dropped on the ground directly. No need, uh, uh, no need pallets. And also, this particular block machine is also very small. And after package, after package. The volume for the transportation is also very small uh, because you know now the shipping fleet is very, very, very expensive. Uh, they like, they prefer the block machine to be powered by hydraulic and also should be a small, you know, capacity of the block machine and also uh, should be a movable. So I think this particular block machine will be suited for your re requirements. Because it's powered by electric motor, and also is uh, is driven by hydraulic station, and is a movable. So I think it's the best choice for you to choose, and for your personal, you know, the requirements. I want to introduce the detail of this block machine before you place the order or do some uh, research. Okay, now what you see. The yellow part is the block mode, and this one is the wheels. And uh, you know where's the hydraulic uh, tank? Hydraulic oil tank is here. <laughs> it's here, because this uh, this uh, this part, yeah, this this part will be filled uh, with the oil. So I will show you the entrance for the hydraulic oil. You have to fill, feed, yeah. This uh, the filter, the filter inside. See. The hydraulic oil will be filled here. So the hydraulic oil will be flowed, flowed, flowed uh, from the inside here, over here. And also here is the filter. Here is the filter. If the if your hydraulic oil is not clean enough, that means uh, the dirt, the rubbish will be you know you know will be screened, will be removed and the device we by the this uh, by this filter. By this filter, and here is for the entrance, for the hydraulic entrance oil. So the hydraulic oil will be, will be come out from the here, from this hydraulic pump. Hydraulic oil will come out from this entrance, from this hydraulic pump, to be the pump here. Here is the pump, the oil pump will be produced and drive, no, will be drive drill, drill the hydraulic oil from the tank from the hydraulic tank by the type by the hydraulic pump and the oil pump will be it will be driven by the electric motor drive the electric motor the electric motor is uh, 3.33 kilowatts 3 kilowatts you see 3 kilowatts and 380 voltage and also, all the processing is uh, is controlled by this uh, controller box. Here, the switch. Uh, how to see? This one. The lighting is showing you. The light is on. The light is on. If you see the lighting, the lighting that means electricity is available there. If you want to uh, stop it, you will be touched here. You see, the lighting is closed. The lighting is off. And the turn on. Stop. Turn on. Switch off. Turn on. Yeah. 
after you switch on the electricity, um, here the button is for the mode, the for the mode go uh, uh, in front. Uh, no, no, uh, fit in. And here is for the for the hydraulic uh, hydraulic pump uh, hydraulic uh, system uh, switch on. Now, yeah, I'm gonna get you on. Ah, go hang out, lah. Go hang out, lah. This one for the mode, mode go back. Mode, mode, go back. Oh, oh. Yeah, with this button, you will switch off, switch off the hydraulic, hydraulic system. So you will push back the mode, and you will feeding, you are feeding the concrete material inside the mode box, and the vibration, and producing the blocks. And here is the handle for you to control. The, the the motor box lift up and drop down. Here, this this handle. And uh, after you feeding the material, after you feeding all the material inside the motor box, uh, and you will uh, push back, push back the mode. Uh, yeah, this button, this button. Yeah, okay. So after you see the mode is uh, is dropped on the mode box at the correct location, you will switch on the vibration. Switch on the vibration. Next, near the vibration start. You just press on this uh, blue, this, this green button, and the vibration will be start, will be working on, will be working on. And after the vibration, you see the vibration is, uh, is finished, is completely well. You will touch, uh, touch the vibration stop touch the vibration stop so the vibration will be closed off and you will use this handle use this handle try to lift up the mode lift out all of the mode mode box and top mode together lift up so the blocks will be dropped on the on the ground direct, directly and uh, after you see the blocks it uh, drop down directly you will drive you will drive the machine forward see forward and back so you do like this, you will forward. Yeah. You touch left, you touch left, they will be forward. You touch right, you turn right, they will be go back for you to control the machine drive. And here the motor, you can see this small motor. And will be connected with uh, this reducer, this reducer. And the reducer, you re before you use it, you have to remember, remove these caps, uh, yellow caps, and try to feed, feed the gear oil inside. Feel the gear oil inside. It can protect your reducer. This one is very important for you to remember. With the chains, with the chains, you know, they will be drive, drive the machine. Drive the machine, see, with the wheels, or drive the machine. And under and under the the mode, under the mode box, there's another vibrator. You can see now here. There's a, another vibrator. The vibrator, the power of the vibrator is only 1.5 kilowatts. This vibrator will be a uh, get will be will be touched will be attached with the mode box. So vibration, vibration force will be transferred from the vibrator to the mode box to let the blocks uh, form the well, form the strings, form the strong. 1.5 kilowatts of the barbito. And here the design of this screw to stop the, the mode. If you the mode push back, right? Or after the mode push back to this direction. So this, this screw will be touched here, will be stopped the mode. So that it can pro 
so that it can protect uh, the mold. The mold. And here is for the hydraulic cylinder to lift uh, this, this uh, the function of this hydraulic cylinder is to lift up the mold and try to drop down the mold lift up the mold there are two on the left side there's one and on the right side there's another one the two hydraulic cylinder so it will keep 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 the balance you know with the left one the right one the two hydraulic cylinder will be keep the the, the balance to be the flat at the same level of the mode box of the mode so that you see the blocks on the left side produce is the uh, same height and uh, on the right side also the blocks is the same height also same height and with the hydraulic cylinder the, the, sec the second function of the hydraulic cylinder is also to keep the machine to be the same level, to keep the balance, to be the balance uh, function at the same times, at the same times. And with this uh, caps, the circle, the circle caps, it will be, you know, to support the bottom of the hydraulic cylinder, a hydraulic cylinder. So this part, it's very, you know, the uh, scientific, scientific and uh, and you know why we designed the, the spring here? There's one and two. And on the right side and on the left side also there are two. Two uh, the springs will be produced uh, enough space for the vibration force. For the vibration force, for the blocks. And this motor is 1.1 .1 kilowatts. 1.1. .1. 1.1 kilowatts it will be drive the motor produce the electricity with the pulley you know, with the belt with the belt and the pulley will be you know and also together with the gear will be you know push the motor you see push the mode forward and back so with this uh, motor this electric motor together with the pulley and with uh, the gear will be post the mode go forward and go back and also the third uh, tips for you to understand before you use it uh, for example if some people uh, they buy they will buy different mode of the blocks like sometimes they buy the, the first mode the first block mode is produced uh, uh, 100, uh, 180 millimeter the block height, right? And maybe next time you pr try to produce a second block mode, which which uh, whose uh, height, uh, whose block height is uh, 200 millimeter. So the difference between the first one and the second blocks is 20 millimeter for the difference. So how to adjust the machine, the mode, so that you can produce the, the correct block height? It's by this. It's by this. If you want to produce uh, the blocks uh, more higher, more higher, right? So that means you can adjust this screw. You have to lift up the screw. 20 millimeter. 20 millimeter. Okay? So then the motor will be compressed down. More lower. So you will get uh, the block's height is more, is more higher. Try to remember this, okay? And uh, why are you producing the blocks with your machine? Uh, after you feed in the material, there's also 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter space between these uh, uh, tips and uh, this, uh, you know, the, the, the column. So after producing, after, pro after sometimes compressing, 
the space will be decre decreased until these two parts come together. Come together. So that means uh, the block uh, is formed well. Uh. And also inside this uh, column, inside this column, inside this column, there's a big, very huge, very huge sp spring inside this column. So the function of this uh, spring inside this column is to try to compress and give the spring tension, give the tension, spring tension, compressing the top mode to compress the blocks. Remember these two, this one and this one. In, inside these two columns, there are two big, big sides of spring will be producing a tension force to compress down the top mode, you know, to form the blocks. And how the top mode is, uh, is holded, you know? You know how the top mode is holded? It's, it's holded by these uh, two fork, two uh, no, no. The, the hook, there are two hook, one, two, one, two. There are the two hook, hooks will be hold the top mode away from the mode, bo mode box. Okay, I think uh, I have already uh, explained how the machine design <laughs> and how the machine fabricated, and also. While you try to use the machine to produce blocks, you have to uh, take care, some tips for you to understand how to use the machine to produce a better quality of, of the blocks. So I hope my video will give you the, the important uh, uh, reminding for you to understand how to use the machine. And uh, you know, finally, uh, anyhow, uh, what I do, what I, what, what, what I do, it's just the one to support your block business. And with our block machine, because you know some blocks, uh, some, some kinds, uh, <coughs> as I know, and ma <coughs> many, you know, the, the, the customer who bought a block machine from China, you know, the trailer or uh, the trader or uh, manufacturer, they will not, you know, they, they cannot uh, get a very good surface after seal. And finally they find me they find me and try to get some favor from our company. But you know, uh, they, are, they, they are different. Uh, their machine they bought from other suppliers are different from our own. So sometimes I would like to do some favor for them, but uh, I don't have the ability to do the favor for them. So I try to record the video and show you how to use and how to manage our own block machine so that it can support your block business it's more better. So, and also, I should uh, I should say thank you so much for your value, value, valuable times to watch my video. If you have any different uh, ideas, welcome and warm, warmly welcome you to leave 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 your message or your comments or your idea, different idea, under under my videos. That will be a big support to me. That is what I hope you to do. Thank you.